my name is Purti Bharnel of Class 6B. Today I will be explaining my STEM project app, My Dear Diary. Now the first question which arises is why did I choose to make this app? Now writing a diary is a very good habit which most people don't do because they spend their time watching mobile. So I thought what if I made the diary into an app? So this app helps bring back the good habit of writing a diary. Now I will show a demo of my app. So the demo of my app. Now the title is my dear diary and the button I have inserted in the screen one is touch to continue. So when the user clicks on the button touch to continue, the screen is changed to the next screen. Now, as you can see, there are two buttons, finish and write. When the user clicks on the button, write, a text area appears and the user can write their diary entry. And then uh, when the user is done writing, they click on the button, finish. This button changes the screens into the main screen. Now, if you go, it is saved. The diary entry which the user types in the first day is automatically saved. Uh, so as the second day, third day f following. So this means that all it is auto saved. All the entries which the user write, writes is auto saved. So if they want to review any of their old entries, they can just scroll up. Now, if we go to the design part for the screen one, I have given the ID screen one and the background color as purple. Now the title is a label, the idea I have given it is title and the text it represents is my dear diary. Now the button touch to continue is a button. The idea I have given it is touch to continue and the text it represents is touch to continue. Now in screen 2. I have given it the ID screen too and I have given it a background color of white. Now in the button writing, write, the ID I have given it is write, button, it is a button and it does not represent any text as it, uh, it represents a picture. Now the button finish. The idea I have given it is finished and it also does not represent any text as it represents a picture. Now, the text area, the idea I have given it is writing. It is a text area and it does not represent any text as the text is filled by the user and it is hidden as it will be shown when the user clicks on the button right. Now for the code part, on event touch to continue click, set the screen to screen 2. This means that when the button touch to continue is clicked, the screen is set to screen 2. On event right click, show element writing. So this means that when the button right is clicked, the text area or the element writing is shown. On event finish click set screen screen 1. This means that when the button finish is clicked, the screen is set to the main screen screen 1. Now as you can see the code and the design is very simple but the app is very useful. Thank you.